Uh, dear students, welcome to our class on uh, computation of airport transformation basics. Okay, this is the basics for class. So in this class, we are going to study the resistance approach. This is popularly known as the Monteith classical approach. That is why it is called as the Monteith classical approach of airport transformation. I will tell you. See, so far we tried to understand what is evaporation. How evaporation is a physical process in which the water is converted into its vapor state, but it is slightly advanced. The water or solid is converted into vapor. So transpiration, transpiration is the the loss of water vapor from the living part of the body. So metal. Transpiration approximately 90 percent, 5 to 6 percent cuticular transpiration, or lenticular transpiration, one or two or back to three percent. So from there we started to understand the how to calculate, how to compute, how to um, uh, determine the evapotranspiration. See evapotranspiration of the crop ETC. Okay. Before that, you know, we calculate ETO, reference graph, evapotranspiration. Evapotranspiration of a particular graph we get from the reference graph, evapotranspiration into ET, of course, uh, crop coefficient KC. ETO into KC, we get the evapotranspiration of the crop. It depends upon the uh, different stages of the crop, which try to reproduce and maturity. Now, so far, we try to understand what is the original Penman equation. There, he used um, only uh, the solar radiation to some extent the vapor pressure. Then in the combined, okay, combined. Uh, what he did, uh, he added uh, for the radiation term to the aerodynamic term. Okay, uh, it's a combination equation we call it. Uh, so like the Blan and Cadill, Blan and Cadill basically they uh, derived uh, the equations, you know, depending upon the temperature only. So before that, uh, the Dalton, you know, in the year around uh, 1800. Uh, he, uh, from the free water surface, from a free water surface like this, how evaporation goes several times I go, free water surface where the, the roughness length, okay, Z0, okay, zero plane displacement, okay, so these are all, these are all uh, very, very, very simple, basically, so it was calculated, however, the problem he encountered, who is the environmentalist encountered, how to measure the E, yes, at the surface level, the vapor pressure, ah, the surface level vapor pressure, that's why. So, he had, who, Monty had developed a classical approach, that's why it's called a classical, why, because he proposed the term resistance based on the actual current flow. How the current flows, so I, I is equal to delta EMF by, okay, resistance. So, what is resistance or resistance is equal to, okay, uh, delta EM of by I. Now, potential difference between two levels, uh, current flows, the resistance of what, uh, the, the conductance we call it, the coefficient of uh, uh, variation, okay, potential difference, uh, we call it as the uh, resistance. Uh, in other words, you know, conductance, in the classical term, conductance. Uh, Generally, we call it as the resistance, the resistance of what, okay, potential difference is equal to the current what we are getting. Now, see, Monty, they had applied the same principle when current we are getting I, okay, delta EMF by R, resistance. Similarly, when some fluxes are moving over the fluxes are moving over the or inside the crop canopy, it's like this. The basic diagram I'm telling, basic. This is the crop, RC, crop resistance, crop resistance, for what I will tell you after one minute. This is the grass resistance, for what uh, movement of the fluxes, what are the four fluxes, that's why I request you, please uh, subscribe to my channel, I will the farmers and road element there, basic, uh, basics of fluxes I told, fluxes of moment, flux of momentum, flux of water vapor, flux of uh, heat, flux of uh, uh, carbon dioxide. Okay, these are all the basic things. Now, for the the crop offer some resistance for what flux? Okay, what is the flux? That I tell you after one minute. Now, the grass offers the C grass. Grass offers the resistance. This is the reference level. So this is the this is the level of our aerodynamic surface. From here, the aerodynamic surface. If we presume, if we presume R A. Aerodynamic resistance, this is the RA, aerodynamic resistance above the crop canopy. This is the reference level we put here. Crop resistance, grass resistance, 
and aerodynamic slightly advanced let us go to slightly advanced explanation of uh, the same thing presuming that uh, presuming that this is a small crop okay crop loses the water from the living parts that's what we call it as the transpiration particularly stomatal okay cuticular stomatal cuticular resistance this is the resistance this is the resistance stomatal and cuticular resistance is offered by the crop now in the previous diagram i told the grass offers or if you say the ground or grass below the crop okay it offers some resistance r g this is the r okay r c r c we call it the stomatal resistance we call it as the otherwise uh, montith uh, had given rc but uh, in the basic uh, one metal was rv resistance of what by the crop please note that resistance is offered by the crop for what movement of the fluxes what are the fluxes sir? first one momentum mass into velocity momentum that is the wind water vapor difference between the saturated vapor and the actual vapor by the three heat what is heat what is the difference between the temperature and heat heat measures the total molecular energy heat measures the total molecular energy heat measures the total molecular whereas temperature measures the individual average energy of the individual molecules that's why temperature is defined as the measure of speed per molecule of all the molecules of the body whereas the heat is the energy energy for an atom of all the molecules of the body why i am doing it flux will be there for the heat now see first one the crop offers some resistance to momentum crop offers some resistance to heat in between it offers resistance to water vapor these are the three of course carbon dioxide now when air is blowing okay air is just uh, uh, touching the crop surface it goes like this in the process it takes a fluxes by offering some resistance in that resistance energy is utilized so rv in the older books before 1990 rv is a resistance offered by the vegetation in the original uh, Monty's classical equation, RC only was mentioned. But recently, after 1990, okay, in most of the uh, books that are written by Rosenberg or uh, Kanema, so these books, you know, they refer to RV. So what is RG here? The ground or grass? Ground or grass? No, no. Now let us see. What is the aerodynamic resistance? Above this, you know, evaporative surface. This is the evaporative surface. Why we are calling it as the only evaporative surface? That's why. Monteith, when he proposed the equation in 1948, in the year 1948, he said only the word evaporation, even though he meant for evapotranspiration. That's why in every book after 1990, particularly after 2010 onwards, we, we mentioned in the brackets, uh, reference crop evapotranspiration, evaporation in the bracket, reference crop evapotranspiration, ETO. That's why agrometrology, we agrometrology should be confined only, only, only to ETO, ETO into KC. ETC crop. That's why I am telling you several times. Please, we agrometers should not cross beyond these limits. We should not see in some books, you know, really it. Some books, AET, actual evapotranspiration. I am not saying it. They have also worked for years and years together. Okay, they found it. But uh, we, the agrometers, should come point to only two terms, two terms, two terms. That is ETO, reference crop evapotranspiration. ETO into KC, ETC crop. We get it. That much only is helpful. But where PET, where all these are available, that I told. In the uh, uh, index development, uh, all these things, general meteorologists and climatologists, they use that term. Now, why I am doing it? Here, aerodynamics, uh, aerod this is the evaporating surface. That's why, uh, that's one minute back, I call this one evaporating surface. Evaporating surface means evaporation and transpiration surface. That's why bulk or surface resistance, that's what we call that. Please, please note, bulk or surface resistance. What is bulk or surface resistance? RV, resistance of the crop, RG, ground, grass, all together, bulk or surface resistance up to evaporating surface, then above the aerodynamic surface. Aerodynamic resistance is I told. What is aerodynamic? What is aerodynamic resistance? What is AD? Please, please, please subscribe to my channel, Agrometrology, Farmers and Rural Development. There I have given what is aerodynamic resistance several times. What is Z0? Roughness parameter. Why roughness parameter? It is because of the up. 
because of the underlying surface rg roughness roughness parameters are very 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 thin what is zero plane displacement d roughness parameter z0 what is zero plane displacement d it is uh, it is just because of the obstacles obstacles what is obstacle say for example there is a water here what is the roughness parameter z0 just the roughness parameter is just above this or just this what is a uh, zero plane displacement d because of the obstacle this is the obstacle zero plane displacement here this is how uh, we differentiate why i am telling is that bulk or surface resistance so wonderful it is a classical concept i am very fascinated by this resistance approach because here we are taking aerodynamic resistance here we are taking the bulk resistance just like current potential difference where it enters goes it takes the latent heat okay in rosenberg book he tried to explain from sensible heat then latent heat of course he avoided ground heat first as far as this is going to come he has taken uh, we are always taking uh, rg here why i am interested to say once again is that uh, this is a classical approach presume yes this is a crop this is a plant air moves like this it offers some resistance for for transpiration so metal cuticular okay like this it will go he this is the soil okay it offers the ground there is some grasses rg okay rv resistance by uh, resistance by resistance resistance by g this is what we call it the bulk resistance r yes r a aerodynamic okay this is the aerodynamic approach laminar flow boundary layer okay development of the uh, turbulence there are three turbulences smooth surface excellent it will go rough surface here itself molecular move in between laminar Suddenly starts here like that. It will go now. Here uh, I would like to explain to you the classical equation. What is the class? This is this is this is only the basics. Uh, okay. Now what is the basics? Uh, as I said, uh, a minute back or uh, one and a half minute back, uh, that uh, Rosenberg book or uh, you can say earlier books, uh, you will find the uh, term. Uh, Or uh, there uh, in the earlier book you will find thirty for reference graph of water aspiration. For not uh, they have taken latent heat, okay? Latent heat. They have taken from the sensible heat. See in several of the practicals of PG and PhD students, the sensible heat in the crops is approximately seven to eight percent. Ground heat flux is one or two percent lesser than one or two uh, units lesser than the. Okay, sensible heat, uh, ground heat, but that means on five or six. Uh, majority, majority is from the. This is what. Okay, evapotranspiration, LE, latent heat of evaporation, heat. Okay, again I am telling heat is the. Heat is the total molecular energy. Heat is the. That's why heat units are calories, uh, joules, sorry. Temperature, just degree centigrade, degrees per in volt. That's why I am telling you. The temperature measures the. Why oh, average individual molecules average? Okay, it will take. That's why we won't get the temperature flux. Heat only flux is there. Why I am telling it in this equation? Penman modis combination equation. What is Penman modis combination equation? Final equation I have given. Radiation term C. Like Dalton he has taken the C. C multiplied by C means you know the varying factor for the day and night temperature variation. C from there it starts. One minus W R N. Okay, from there E S minus E A like that. So there, as far as heat is concerned, is the flux delta R N minus Z plus. Okay, specific heat of the I uh, mean density of the air, water vapor. Okay, water vapor resistance of the air delta plus. Okay, psychometric constant plus one plus R S by R A resistance of the surface, resistance of the air. So here Penman resistance equation from where first the original equation combination equation for E T from there combination he had gone for resistances. That's why it's a classical approach. Third or something like a third order differential equation is done there. Now this equation reads that Penman resistance equation, reference crop evapotranspiration is equal to same from here. Okay, delta R n minus Z. Okay, delta R n minus Z just to point four zero eight. Okay, plus okay, uh, psychometric constant nine hundred by T plus two seventy three U two 
ओके ई एस माइनस ई ए बाय डेल्टा प्लस ओके वन प्लस पॉइंट थ्री फोर यू टू व्हाट आर दिस टर्म्स क्विकली आई विल रीड दिस टर्म्स आर वेरी 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 इंटरेस्टिंग दिस टर्म्स आर रेफरिंग टू हियर आर एम नेट रेडिएशन व्हाट इज नेट रेडिएशन टू टर्म्स यू कम अक्रॉस एक्स्ट्रा टेररेस्ट्रियल इनरेडियंस they are the total incoming total incoming means direct diffused scattered outgoing long outgoing short everything that way but net radiation is the difference between incoming and outgoing that is r n g okay what is g soil heat flux or ground heat flux okay what is e e s minus e a e s minus oh sorry here e s minus e a r n net radiation ground heat flux e s minus e a is equal to vapor pressure deficit of the air vapor pressure deficit of the air so r a mean air density okay density of the air okay so okay this one okay a cp specific heat of the air specific heat of the air density of the air es minus ea es minus ea in both the example es minus ea is equal to uh, the vapor pressure density uh, a mean air density this is a mean air density cp is the specific heat of the air okay or ea is equal to a mean air density again okay right uh, now what is the delta this is the delta delta is the saturation vapor and temperature relationship okay okay so if you take like this if you take like this relation okay this is the thing now psychrometric constant this is the psychrometric constant usually delta t by delta e into psychrometric constant is equal to bovin's ratio bovin's ratio what is bovin's ratio it is a ratio between the okay sensible heat by latent heat bovin's ratio delta t by delta e into psychrometric constant 0.6 is for punjab i have taken for my msc that's what okay now here uh, what is the uh, g is the psychrometric constant R S and R E R bulk surface and aerodynamic resistances. That is what I told. Bulk resistances. This is the thing. This is the thing. This is the bulk resistances. What are the bulk resistances? Resistance of the vegetation, resistance of the ground. That means that includes the ground and uh, grass. Otherwise, grass. Okay. Now, in this equation, what we are going to get is. Finally, I will read E T O is equal to reference of evaporation per day in millimeters per day. R N net radiation mega joule per meter square per day. R N okay. Uh, G ground heat flux T T okay. Where uh, you get the T here T T here T yes. I said this is the T here. T is the temperature of the okay. air mean daily temperature of the air uh, approximately 2 meters high that is the reference of what i told u z wind speed at 2 meters u z wind speed wind speed u in uh, general engineering civil engineering in the air of um, aerodynamics of the aviation also we use the term u2 only for the okay <coughs> wind speed at the certain height here 2 meters es what is the es here saturation vapor pressure okay ea what is ea actual vapor pressure okay slope of the vapor vapor pressure curve this is the slope of the vapor pressure curve slope okay slope so psychrometric constant eto of the crop so eto of the crop can be related to ec if i am not confusing you just i would like to tell you that eto refers to the power transformation the resistance equation is the 0.408 delta R n minus Z psychrometric constant 900 by T plus 273 U2 okay E S minus E A by co delta psychrometric constant 1 plus 0.34 U2 all these things so once again I will read for your academic interest that E T O reference to the power transformation into K C we get the actual power transformation of the crop depending upon the vegetative and the maturity phase R n net radiation G ground heat flux delta okay psychrometric constant is the This one, this is the okay. This is the um, uh, density of the uh, air. Okay, uh, specific heat of the air. E S minus E S several times also. E S minus E A is the okay. Uh, the um, a saturation vapor pressure, actual vapor pressure difference. So this is what I would like to say. So the resistance approach also. Uh, this is the basic. I am telling you. You know, computation of transformation for basics only. So far, we try to understand what is Penman, what is the Blaney and Kettle modified, modified things. Then we try to understand uh, in the class energy budget R N is equal to L E plus G plus E A miscellaneous. Uh, of course, there 
Inactive to RA, RA, um, net radiation, some advective heat also will be there at the MSC level, we should understand that, that advective heat negligible, we take usually because crop is never subject to completely dry. When it's completely dry, we cannot uh, get anything from the crop, that's why, okay, we don't. So then in this class, we try to understand what is the resistance approach. Resistance is analogous with the we are always with current uh, I is equal to delta EMF by resistance. Resistance, conductance is the class, uh, conductance is the physical term, resistance is the general term. So, from the resistance approach, resistance offered by the crop, this is what, okay? This is what? What is the resistance approach? It's very classical. It's very classical. Resistance offered by the crop, air flows like this, resistance RV, older books RC, okay? Then, Bulk, what is the bulk from the ground, from these two, cuticular and uh, transpiration, okay, RV plus RG is good, bulk, before, above this, aerodynamic approach, these two, when wind is blowing like this, the resistance offered by tomato, cuticular, surface, from the ground, please, please note that, you know, evaporation is going on from the soil, plant using two, Soil provides mechanical support to the crop, okay, soil, evaporation, transpiration, everything combinedly will go aerodynamic here, reference level is here, aerodynamic level is here, aerodynamic resistance, bulk resistance, these two, what else is required to estimate simply the evapotranspiration of a crop. First we get the reference crop evapotranspiration ETO multiplied by the crop coefficient depending on the maturity of the particular maturity we get the actual output once again once again once again I am telling you this is the basics only when we calculate it we go to the advanced step. from the real applications real where the problems were solved by using enormous uh, amount of uh, electronics and everything that we say in the advanced thank you very much for your patience